cataractcoach.com, and we're looking at a cortex removal part of the procedure using the irrigation aspiration probe. And what I want to show you in this case is what it looks like when you inadvertently grab the posterior capsule with the eye probe. This is where the advanced surgeons tend to break capsules during cortex removal, not during nucleus removal. So again, circumferential removal here of the cortex. Now in the sub area, watch carefully as I remove the cortex just inside the incision, I'll inadvertently grab the posterior capsule and you'll see the radial wrinkles. I'll show you what I mean. It's coming up very shortly. So right here, look at that. That's the capsule. So I let go and then pivot more to grab just the cortex without grabbing the capsule. Again, pivot more. We want to get just the cortex and not the capsule. There it is. By manual irrigation aspiration can help here as well to access that. Some people even use a cannula, 27 gauge cannula through the side port or a J-shaped cannula through the main incision to, to get the sub cortex. But we uh, did it just with the regular IA probe. So that looks great. We're going to continue the rest of the case as usual. Everything else here is pretty routine. Just wanted to show you what it looks like when you inadvertently grab that poster capsule. When you grab it, the key is to let go immediately. You can come off the pedal, going to position one, and that'll release the vacuum. You can also reflux. There's a way on most machines to use the foot pedal to reflux, to have the fluid flow backwards um, from the suction port back into the eye, and that can also help release an entrapped uh, poster capsule. Most importantly, when you're grabbing the poster capsule, don't move the probe. If you have the capsule in your port, don't lift up or move the port side to side because that's going to absolutely rip the poster capsule. Remember, this poster capsule is about four microns at its thinnest point. That's about half of a red blood cell. So that's really thin and quite fragile. And you want to make sure that uh, you're going to respect it at all times and not cause a rupture there. So we're going to remove the cortex here. Now we'll put the lens in. Now we're going to clean out and remove the viscoelastic, and the case should proceed as normal. So keep an eye out for that next time. Make sure you don't grab the posterior capsule. If you see those radial wrinkles coming towards your port, that's the capsule. That's not cortex. So be careful out there. And remember, for our, our younger surgeons, more advanced surgeons tend to have a high risk of capsular complications during the cortex removal and IA probe being in the eye. Thanks for watching.